Welcome to our Australian garden. This is a section of the garden where we're trying to incorporate a lot of plants from the Queensland region of Australia. A little bit wetter and we take advantage of some of the natural shade. This species next to me is endemic to that part of Australia. This is Macrosamia maclei. And part of why I wanted to share this today is not only because it's an interesting piece of this landscape, but this cone is shedding seeds. We talked a little bit about cycad pollination in a previous video, but this is actually a cone that I did some pollination on. And it takes many months for these seeds to develop. So the act of actually pollinating this took place before all of the shutdown earlier this year. The whole while that this garden was quiet, these seeds were slowly developing and maturing. And one of the interesting things about macrosamias versus a different type of cycad like encephalardos from Africa is that macrosamias don't develop their seeds past a certain point unless they're successfully fertilized, unless they're successfully pollinated. And as I've mentioned before in these videos, we don't have any of the natural pollinators that take care of that movement and material between male and female plants of cycads. So we have to do that instead if we want any viable seeds whatsoever. And that's just what we did in this case. So this is what happens when the seeds are not pollinated. You can see that they're underdeveloped, they're even kind of shriveled. The coloration is really muted. They're just not exciting and there's nothing to them. When they are pollinated though, and as you can see, my success rate on this was quite spotty because I only did one round of pollination on this and it usually takes several over the course of a successive weeks in some cases, but usually days. These nice orange fat plump fruits instead, we're hoping are viable seeds of Macrosamia maclei because this is quite a rare species. Cycads in general are quite rare, but this particular type of Australian cycad is well enough suited to our local climate that it doesn't make sense that there are not more of them, excepting that, as you can see, it's quite a labor-intensive process. So I want to make sure that everybody knows what they're seeing as they tour parts of the garden, like this Australian section. And I want to both speak to the people who have purchased Zycats for us and thank you for your support, uh, but also encourage those of you looking for interesting investment specimen type plants for your own landscapes, consider things like Zycats. Macrosamias in particular are much nicer and tamer than some of their African counterparts. As you can see, I would not be handling an encephalitis hortus like I am here. So sadly, they're hard to come by, but as you can see, we're working on that. And I ask all of you to keep visiting the garden and look at the progress of things like this over many months and years, but also take a piece of it home. You can find some of these cycads in our new little gift shop in our conservatory.